<clears throat> okay, welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Esper Legends. We're continuing on playing some ranked matches here. We started um, yesterday in gold. We now got to platinum, and thankfully we just got to platinum because uh, Soulfly Sandy didn't work out too well for us. We are having some tough luck there, but thankfully we couldn't drop down anymore, so we got to platinum right at the right time before those losses there. So we're going to start here with Esper Legends, see if we can climb up, climb up with it. Basically what we have here is a deck that's it's kind of like Esper Control in the fact that we're playing Teferi and removal spells. Um, but, you know, we have a lot more interesting things going on than just a regular Esper Control deck. We have a whole lot of legendary creatures and planeswalkers in here because we're trying to cast these two legendary sorceries. We have Urza's Ruinous Blast that exiles all non-land permanents that are not legendary. And we have Yawgmoth's Vile Offering that can put a creature or planeswalker from any graveyard onto the battlefield under our control and also destroy another creature or planeswalker as well. Huge swing here. Um, so... In order to cast these two, though, as you can see by the black box up in the right-hand corner of them, sorry, you can only cast them if you control the, a legendary creature or planeswalker. So that's why we have all these different legendary creatures and planeswalkers to help us cast these, um, including, you know, like it may not seem like Lazav the Multifarious, for example, is really that powerful, but it's a two-mana legendary creature, where later on in the game, for just seven mana, we can drop Lazav and then immediately cast one of our two five-mana sorceries also in the same turn. Um, so Teferi's enchantment, the Oath of Teferi, that, that legendary, or, so yeah, that enchantment costs five mana, and all it really does is say that you can activate a Planeswalker multiple times, but that's just, that's not as, that's not impactful enough for five mana. Um, there's a lot of times where it doesn't do anything if you don't have Planeswalkers out. And if you already have Planeswalkers out, you're usually doing okay. You don't really need that enchantment to like put you over the top. So it's just not a card that's good on its own, and you want your cards to be at least serviceable on their own. You know, like Izareth is like a Death Touch creature, so like Death Touch creatures get to just kind of trade with, you know, anything, and so it gets to it gets to do its thing, and so on. We have just a, a bunch of like random cards that people aren't really used to playing against as well, and that that helps us with the surprise factor, also, and. There we go. So this is our deck, Esper Legends. Let's give it a try. Get on out of here, Sultai Sanity. <laughs> yeah, you're in like the brand new new division. Don't really mind if you lose. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so they get to decide if they want to go first or not. Lucky them. I'm gonna try this. Next Saturday, we need to try an Esper Legends with the new Jace to self mill and use Glorious Rebirth. That sounds pretty sweet. All right, so this has not been the best case scenario <laughs> after two turns. 
We're going to hopefully not be dead by turn 5 when we get to play Lyra Dawnbringer. But we may be. Our, our sweeper is Urza's Ruinous Blast. But it costs 5 mana. Hmm. I wish I would have shocked in for Izareth if I knew that was their their hand. We're not quite dead yet. Okay, now we're now we're kinda dead. Now we're kinda dead. Alright, got a lot of sideboard cards to bring in. Basically everything. Bring it in 13. Cutting Tezzeret, Vile Offering, uh, One Blast. Um, <clears throat> Alright, what else? Karn, you can go. One to Fairy. Discovery. Alright, so where are we at now? 65. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really do anything there. Alright, Izarat's out. Kind of like Lazav. Kind of like Lazav. I guess I don't want four duress and four thought erasures. So I'm going to cut thought erasures. I like keeping the one Ruinous Blast in. It has a chance of exiling a bunch of things, including Experimental Frenzy. Would help if we didn't just have all tap lands all the time. Right, deck? That would help, right? No, guess not. Hmm. Two risk factors, huh? Yeah, I think negate's better than Thought Erasure. You know, like on turn two, you'd rather have Thought Erasure, but if you're a deck that's trying to play any any kind of late game at all, like what we're doing here, uh, we'd rather have the negate. Plus, when we're playing things like Lyra and Shalai, um, having the negate for them to be able to protect them is really nice. Well, if we have Shalai in play, they cannot cast Risk Factor, because Risk Factor does say um, target opponent, and you cannot target the opponent with Shalai in play, so this is just not a castable card. Bio Essence Hydra, I, d I don't think... That card doesn't look too strong. I don't, I don't think that card will see any play. There is... The amount of like good cards in standard at the um, hmm. yeah, the amount of good cards at at the five mana slot in standard is just incredible. Like, there's so much competition there at the five mana slot, and I don't think. I don't think that Hydra's going to cut it. Bum, 
We're almost dead, but we're not dead yet. This Steamkin... Steamkin has basically killed us on its own. Or almost has. What card arts are given on seasonal rewards? There's only there's only two cards. It's just, um, and you get like you get the the 3D part, like like this kind of thing. You know, like you get the the 3D art for the two cards. And for gold, you get Wizard's Lightning, which there's only one Wizard's Lightning card art. Like there's not a, a separate card art for for Wizard's Lightning. So you get the Wizard's Lightning one, and for platinum, you get the Vras's Contempt. Yeah, I could certainly use my opponent drawing a land. So now they they can't cast these for risk factor, so they're going to attack us with Runaway Steamkin. We're going to take it, so we're going to go down to three. I guess I go to two. If I block... If I block Firebrand, then they could have had a 3 damage burn spell to kill Shalai. Send back in case they have the 1-1 the one, one haste creature. Somebody bothering you? I'll make them. I hope you said your goodbyes already. I need to start attacking them and start ending this game. Because Shalai locks them out. Bye. So Kai would be deal six, gain six right now. Oh, negate just lock that. That's game over. That is game You're over. Not welcome here anymore. Good job, Negate. Because they they have to have two burn spells to kill Shalai just to continue on. But now we can counter the second burn spell. So that's why I have the Ruinous Blast in there. Kind of did its thing. Even though maybe, maybe it would have been better as a Thought Erasure or something. Now, they cannot cast Risk Factor, though. With Shalai in play, they just can't even cast it. That's why they're just sitting there with the Risk Factors. It's like those are just dead cards. Thanks, mister. Ooh. No runaway steam can. Plus, Lazav has really cool animation. Another good reason to play it. 
So this game's looking pretty good for us right now, with them not having anything to do on turn one or two. That's not very common, but really what's looking good is having Raph and then Lyra being able to flash in Lyra. Like, instant speed Lyra is quite strong. Eat this risk factor. I'll phase I hope you've said your goodbyes already. Way. We'll eat that. <laughs> we certainly ate that. Nom nom nom. <laughs> yeah, so Elevation says if they would have responded to Shalai with Risk Factor, they would have had a better chance of winning that. Yeah, if, if they would have, then... I mean, it was basically the same. Because they got to attack with Steamkin. Like, I would have just taken four, but they got to attack with Steamkin for four. If they... If they would have responded with risk factor, we would have just taken the four, but then... You must feel pretty um, smart right now. Uh, but then what's his name? Uh, you won. This time. But then the steam can wouldn't have dealt that four damage to us. So it would have basically been the same. Because we would have just been able to block the steam can at that point. Well, I mean, I would have blocked the 2-2 two -two steam can. I wouldn't have taken the two from that. Because I would have been dead if I didn't. Because we went down to two, remember? So I wouldn't have just taken the the two two steamkin attacking. I would have blocked. Kind of want a moment of craving this thing. So I feel like if I play Raph, they just like Wizards Lightning the Raph and then play like light up the stage. I don't know. I'll play Raph. Could be like a Chain Whirler too. Well, that worked out very well. Ah, uh, still light up the stage. New no. skewer the raft. New. No. Don't skewer my raft. All right, that's fine. I'll take that. A, a historic spell is a legendary spell, or an artifact, or a saga. Those are historic spells. Artifacts, legendaries, and sagas are historic. So instant speed Lyra should be able to win this one for us. Unless they're sitting with five points of instant speed removal over there. If we need it, we can moment of craving one of our own creatures to gain two. If we need to. Esper Legends, picking up the first one. Instant Speed Lyra is real nice. 
And, you know, our opponent was going to be taking lethal there. That's why they just, you know, conceded. But if they w did have more life, and if they would have been able, they would have just played their two creatures, we would have had our, our Ruinous Blast at instant speed to exile both creatures. Play first. Uh, this looks great. Okay, getting uh, Soul by Sandy up on YouTube. Terry Mander. So I kind of want to just cast down this thing. Yeah. Even though we won't have the cast down for a Tempest Gen later. Uh, it does like incentivize my opponent to kind of tap out here, hopefully. <clears throat> or hopefully just not have spell pierce. Cause dive down's not a big deal, but spell pierce would be a bigger deal. Hey, what's up, characters? Dang. All right. Well, at least no curious obsession. I didn't really feel like paying two life just to play the Shalai. Don't have Curious Obsession. Good. Hey, glad to hear that, Rex. Rex says, I wore, me I wore my pair of MeUndies. Today, they're the lightest, softest, and coolest boxer briefs I've ever owned. Yeah, glad Yeah, glad you love them. Yeah, I love them too. And like, I, like I've said before, I really love their, their socks also. Oh. Why do you have to have all these Tempest Gins? All them Tempest Gins. Hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, if you want to try them out too, um, I have a referral link. If you want to try out me undies, it's an awesome. Uh, underwear and basics company i have a referral link there that you get 15 percent off your entire first purchase you know just click on the link you get 15 percent off also help support the stream as well we've had 12 people sign up so far or eight people away from oh i thought the miss carol wasn't attacking for a little bit eight people away from doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate people using the referral link there so you can support the channel and get yourself some new underwear at the same time. <clears throat> no curious obsession means we're pretty lucky. 
I don't know. How about three Tempest Gens? Does that mean that we're lucky? And the Storm Tamer stops the Yawgmoth's file offering. <laughs> I just kept coming. Let's get these Ruinous Blasts in. Negates duresses, Moment of Craving, Mortifies. I don't really love Cry of the Carnarium in the matchup. I guess it's not that bad, though. But there are definitely times like those those kind of games where they just have like Tempest Gin and the Cry of the Carnarium doesn't do anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it that much. All right, so if we... I kind of want Tezzeret. If we take out Teferi, take out Karn, take out Vile Offering, take out this Discovery... Um, what about you, Dovin? Yeah, you can stay, Dovin. This is still 66. All right, so Izareth out. What about you, Lazav? I guess you're going to be going, too. I kind of like all these cards. Just got to cut something. I mean, I guess I'm going to cut Tezzeret, I guess. I don't know. I kind of need to still keep all these. I don't have very many legendary things left for a Ruinous Blast. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. If I cut Tezzeret, we only have nine. Tezzeret's the tenth. We got the white mana with Glacial Fortress. Okay, so you want... So it's better to get the plain non-print pairs. They last longer and uphold the softness. And elect elasticity. Okay, that's what I have is, is one of those, uh, the plain non-print pair. Cool, good, t good tip there, thank you. Do I want to duress on turn one? Or do I want to wait? I think I want to wait. Dressing on turn one means we look at those six cards. Waiting, we get to look at like more cards, because now they have like a seventh card, for example, in hand. Now they have an eighth card, you know, so like we just have better options. It's not like we're, it's not like the game's ending soon. All right, so this is where I'm going to go ahead and play a duress. Or I can pay for a spell pierce also and see what they got. Because I'm kind of, I'm kind of expecting end step trickster. So we're likely going to be taking Negate anyway with the Duress, and we get to eat up their second turn of the game by having them cast that, so that's good. Definitely want the untapped land. Want to be able to Negate and still pay for Spell Pierce. Be good if we can just get to a point where we can just always pay for Spell Pierce. We would like to draw more spells, though. Uh, if, we, if we don't get more spells, they're just going to overrun us with spells. So, I don't know, 
I basically, I think negate's more valuable than duress. And so if I, if I would have cast duress, if I would have cast negate last time, I don't know, there's a chance they don't, there's a chance that I whiff. Have another one. That's bad. So Kaya's gonna have to get rid of the obsession, but now they have the trickster plus three cards in hand. And I have nothing. We have drawn nothing but lands this game. So gotta have nothing here. And Ooh, I like a good fight. <laughs> Notice I did not on my watch. Looks like we're losing this. We need to draw spells. All four, all four draw steps have been land so far. I'll be back. Just you wait. Good news is we should, they should be out of curious obsessions. Hopefully, no tempest gen. Why do they have to have tempest gen? I don't mind that trade. Tempestion's a really good card. Real good card. And now hopefully this resolves because they used that negate earlier. No, nope, they just have enough things. It's kind of difference is, you know, them, them having four lands and us having nine. Eight. With us having us, us having eight, they get the extra four, extra four cards, and those extra four cards, those are like their two creatures in their land in hand. I think I probably should have just taken out a land from my deck. Honestly, I cut so many, so much top end. I think I should have cut a land there. I don't think, yeah, I think I should have taken out a land. We just needed, you know, we just needed more cards. We just, we didn't have enough cards. <laughs> we had seven different lands. They just had the one. Okay, so we're one and one with Esper Legends now. So we're back at the beginning of Platinum now. So if we lose, we're not losing anything. This game is not looking great for us right now. We want. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Yeah, Oath of Kaya is a really, really strong card. Yeah, that card looks really good. <laughs> to get the card back our opponent has, um, it's one of the 
codes. It's a free one. It's a free card back. Um, it's one of those. I think the starter styles. Yeah, the starter styles one gives you that one. this thing. And we don't have to shock in to be able to play that, thankfully. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Othakaya means the Kaya joined the Gatewatch, yeah. No, you can, yes, you can use all of those codes. All those codes are ready to use. But no removal. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. This is the greedy play. They didn't have removal last turn, though. Could have just cast the Urza's Ruinous Blast and just exiled all their creatures. But I went greedy. Yeah. Greed, working out. We have a lot of, you know, we have a lot of plays we can make here between, you know, Vile Offering, Ruinous Blast, another Lyra, a Shalai to protect the Lyra. We have so many plays here. <laughs> We're being so greedy. No, keep the cast down. That's a good one. Keep cast down. Back up to 11. Yeah, we could have Flash to Fairy. Yeah, I, I probably should have attacked last turn. Oh no, attacking last turn definitely made their attack good. Now having the Shalai in play, now we are up to 11. Where their attack... It, eh, they're still just attacking with everything. Alright. See ya. Alright, get those out of there. <clears throat> Hoping they were going to play an explore creature first. Beast 
This is nothing. Alright, down goes Shalai. So now we do have Now we still have instant speed July. Because remember this can put something into play at instant speed. Let's do this again. So I'm still still keeping keeping Shalai up in case of another Vivian. Or something else. Looks like they have fine finality, but all of their... All their things were exiled. Oh, come on, opponent. Do have something. Have like a contempt or something. Let me. I just want to cast this vile offering. I want to take this Vivian. Every fight makes me stronger. All right, and attack. Okay, so we got game one. Uh, definitely drew well there, and it was... Even though it looked like it wasn't close, that was really, really close, of course, there for a while uh, with us being down to one. Yeah. All right, so Kaya's, Kaya's and Dovin come out because they're, they're just really hard to protect. And if we're going to be behind with, like, those creatures and everything, like, these, these things are just too hard to protect. We need more Urza's Ruinous Blasts. Um... And I think I, because of that, I want to cut a vile offering just because our five mana slot is filled. And I'm going to play a couple of mortifies for earlier removal to make sure we can stay alive. And there we go. Yeah, we're going to play some mono red crisis after this. No, Kaya's not very useful. Like, sure, it gets rid of some creatures because of fine finality, but that's just not... We don't have, like, enough removal to protect it or anything. So, like, whenever we're playing Kaya, they have, like, their creatures in play, and then their creatures just attack Kaya and kill Kaya, and then Kaya dies, and it's just not, not worth the card. Doesn't help us win. Alright, so struggling to get out of high gold into plat. Any suggestions here? Alright, I need land drops right now. I don't really see anything wrong with that deck, Streak Almighty. It's just a, a Demir control deck. Uh, 24 lands doesn't... Yeah, 24 lands is not enough. You should have at least a 25th or maybe 26. Because you got to hit... you got to keep hitting your land drops with that deck. Like those kind of decks. Yeah.
I am Khan. Yeah, I would I would not be comfortable playing 24 lands there. I'd play 25 or 26. My retribution will be swift. Alright, so they, they still have six cards in hand. Um but so will we. Well chosen. We'll have we'll have more. Gonna go ahead and use one of these ruinous blasts right now. Just exile these things. And that's that's the other thing is like our sweeper is exile removal spell, so Kaya also isn't really as good because like we're trying to sweep their battlefield by exiling stuff. So Kaya doesn't really help there. Of like Clear in the graveyard. There's nothing in the graveyard. Yeah, I played the mono black zombie deck still. I think we played it. Played it a couple days ago. Played it uh, Sunday. Nemata fairy. But mata fairy. Ooh, they took Ruinous Blast? Alright. A curious choice. Trust me, you'll thank me later. All right, so just getting a lot of stuff in play. And I'll kill the Krasis. And I'm gonna have Karn and Teferi just keep rolling in the cards. That's the plan right now. That is their fourth Krasis. That's probably the last one. Probably. Not necessarily, though. I could really use Wrath Compassion. Hold that thought. So I could have in all my cards instant speed. You may regret that choice. There's Raph. So don't have a removal spell now for like a Vivian. I was hoping just to find any of our cast downs or mortifies. <laughs> What, you think we're playing spells over here? We do have two more Urza's Ruinous Blast. We can exile these Krasis for good. You know what? I'm not done yet. The choices we make oh wait I think I, I might have wanted to actually just take that thought erasure I should I should have at least waited before I plus or not to kind of see what's going on over here oh my 
Sache. Hm. Hey, there's Raph. There's Raph. Get some instant speed up in here. Ah, computer. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Hey, good job, Macron. You made it to Platinum with Nye Legends. Nice. Very nice. Way to go. I should attack with Izareth, yeah. That didn't go according to plan. Yeah, I should be attacking with Izareth, but I don't know, my computer was kind of freezing up and I panicked and just um just passed the turn. I'm going to mill out before I actually kill my opponent. Possibly mill up before I kill my opponent. If you hurry. No. Bad harpooner. Bad. Yeah, we can we can play another Lyra. All right, should lie out of there. Rude. <laughs> yeah, we're build our own dive down. Now, it's only a matter of time.
And I have a folly for this. For this one, we... So we have... We have two Urza's Ruinous Blast left in this deck somewhere. There's one. Let's just get rid of those things. Your patience is rewarded. Let's see if that last card that's not Land War Elves is any good. Ah, Carnage Tyrant? Yeah, that one's not bad. Yeah, even Ascanto is legendary. Yep. So we've cast two Ruinous Blasts now. Exiled all those things. We have one more somewhere in the deck. Ooh. This will aid us. This will aid us. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Too many legendary angels for our opponent to handle. I don't I don't know why we're dropping frames, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to play Raph. Raph, remember, Raph has Flash. I can wait. Hey, Shekel, yeah. St stream here all the time. Yeah, so I'm here each day, 3 to 10. Streaming. We're going to be making definitely a lot of new decks. Uh, whenever War of the Spark comes out, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, yeah, still doing all these... New decks right now. So I think we have another Thought Erasure to get. Okay, just got a, another Blast. I don't know exactly what I'm the most excited about. It's it's kind of daunting of like where to start because like there's just so many good cards in War of the Spark. Uh, so just like where to start start is is kind of tough. I think I'm gonna be starting with Nicol Bolas and going from there. Two and one. We saw the power of Urza's Ruinous Blast that match. Because we're hitting them for lethal, Rex. It doesn't matter either way. It doesn't matter whether we cast Blast or, or cast down. The game's over. Hmm. Try doing another reset. Yep. 
Yeah, it doesn't really matter which, whichever one you want to do. So my plan, if y'all don't didn't know, um, yeah, you know, I currently live in Virginia. I'm planning on moving to Texas in like June. Um, so you know, like about six weeks or so. And I am um, the big thing that I'm excited about for moving. You know, a lot of things, but certainly, th certainly think my internet should be a lot better of where I'm moving to than where it is here. Um, I'm in a, a very rural area on top of a mountain here, and I think that getting to a nice place, uh, getting a place with a lot better internet, um, because even though my internet speeds are listed to be good enough and uh, what I pay for should be good enough, there's a lot of times where the actual internet, the actual speeds that I'm getting are not, you know, what I'm paying for. It fluctuates wildly and this is the kind of time that's like rush hour time kind of thing uh it's 6 20 my time here and i'm hoping that helps quite a bit if it's not just that then it's something with the computer i'm certainly willing to buy a new computer you know, I don't don't like the stream issues. Also, but I'm I'm really glad that y'all still sticking through it. Ma, if I'm this song's hero, what does that make you? Hmm. So I need black mana for a vile offering, which Karn gives us the best chance of drawing black mana. But I also like how Wrath can block and everything, but I'm gonna go with Karn. For the forces of good. Best chance of drawing black mana. Teferi can tuck Huali as well. Uh, what's the reason for my move? It's just where it's just where I'm from, where I have friends and family and and things like that. I moved out here for a job that I don't have anymore, and so I want to move back, move back home. My strength is our strength. Please stop. Hmm. So if I go get Teferi and Tuck, then both Karn and Teferi die. This will aid us. But it's kind of good to have Teferi in the... Uh... I, I think it's good to have Teferi so fast. in the graveyard so I can cast Vile Offering and get Teferi and put like Teferi into play. Twelve. So it's okay that Wrath Compassion costs five. Flashing it in. Because, like, we can pay five. Best possible draw, of course, is Urza's Ruinous Blast.
Thanks, Rex. Yeah, you can... You can... Uh, oh, baby. You can thank Yud for the new thumbnails. Because, yeah, those look awesome. That's all... That's all Yud's doing. Surrender now. Your fate is already sealed. From the will of many, the might of one. Do you think our opponent's ready for our sell the wreckage? Just even better than settle. You just don't even get lands. It's like, thank you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> our opponent's not going to like this. <laughs> Let's get more of those. That was sweet. All right, more of those. More negates. Uh, Cry the Carnarium. <laughs> and... Feeling like a criminal. It's a good song for this occasion. Feeling like a criminal. Fiona Apple. That was pretty crim criminal. Doing that to our poor opponent. Now, what am I getting rid of? Hmm. Everything's like okay. You know. There's nothing that's, like, horrible. Let me get rid of some of these one-for-one -one removal spells. Kaya's kind of good at times. Same with Dovin. Defense. Oh, they're going to have, like, Conclave Tribunal and stuff. Let's get these Mortifies. Let's get a couple Mortifies back in here. I just got to submit something. Oh, I thought I was submitting down to 60. That was only 62? All right, well, we're going 62 card special. Oh, cool, Hairless Bear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, glad you liked the RNA set review. We're going to be doing the War of the Spark set review on Friday. We're doing the same thing, so hope you all join in. Normal time, 3 to 10. Uh, we'll be talking all of the cards in War of the Spark and their potential impact on Standard. So yeah, focus in on Standard there. So I want Lazav to be able to protect Kaya. If our opponent has like history of Benalia here, okay, no history. I was gonna say we could play Kaya and you know exile the token, and Lazav gets to block and stuff like that. Closet doors are just making a little noise. It's annoying. Like vibrations from, you know, something. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Nothing phases me. Playing March? Yeah, it looks like they got March. Who needs a grave digger when you got me? Okay, so <clears throat> basically playing the Kaya down here as bait. It's not working. Just kind of keep clearing the battlefield, I suppose. I hate it when the dead won't stay dead. It's hard to be a genius surrounded by I less than on the shoulders of giants. Hey, Eisen F. Yep, I'm just kind of trading Kaya for, you know, whatever resources I can. And wanting, like, my Lyra in particular to be, to try to be safe. I just have one card. I think I'm playing Lyra next turn. Cool. All right, we get Lyra this turn. There's no there's no creatures over here to exile, so let's just exile another thing. So Kaya got rid of three tokens. The smell inspired by a good assault. And there we go. Lyra Dawnbringer. Lyra. Lyra Dawnbringer. I feel like whichever one I say, people tell me to say the other one. Bring in the Dawn. Dawn has been brought officially. Three and one. Plus one with, with Kai would not have gained two life. There's no creatures to exile. Like, don't you have to exile a creature to gain two life? No, we, we have the Vraska already. Uh, we got, yeah, because you just need to get to Platinum to get to, to get the Vraska. And so we're, we're at, we're at Platinum, so we're good. We got the Vraska's Contempt. It's Lyra because it rhymes with Shalai. Shalira. Shalira. Alright, what you doing over there, opponent? Is this going to be a Willness Reclamation deck? Looks like it is really bad for us. We have a lot of duresses, negates, and mortifies in our sideboard. Oh, it's not a wellness reclamation deck. Well then. Well then. <laughs> Hmm. 
Let me keep this raf. Ow. Ow. We'll see if this gets contempted or not. It does not. That's good news. Bad news is I didn't draw the land for Teferi, which I kind of wanted to play Teferi here. Ah, surprise. Thanks, DK Madness. Good games. Ah, boo. So that's two contempts down. Which two contempts down is good for Teferi staying alive. Wish we had this one more mana for this blast. do this. Are we going to draw a land next turn? I think we're going to draw a land this next turn. We have it. We missed some land drops here. I think we're I think we're drawing this land. I think we're going to draw this land and be able to blast. And get our wrath back. And just exile these things. So they don't get back from fine finality. Oh yeah. Come on, land. Oh, baby. We did it. We really did it. Give me that back. You kill a hostage taker in response to its ETB trigger, the target creature does not leave and re-enter at all. It stays on the battlefield. It only gets exiled with that other one being there. No, sorry, I'm late. Nope, this game is under wraps. Hold that thought. Playing Raph right now so that I use some mana. Because we're going to have to untap mana. So I can still have Lyra. Lyra. I can still have the Dawnbringer. Also. But, you know, we, just, we need to use two of the mana that we untap with Teferi to be able to play both of them.
Game number two. So bringing in a couple blasts. Cut an offering. Bring the offering back in. Cut Kaya, Dovin. And bring in a Mortify. Alright, looks like a... Looks like a deck. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for Fibbletip for this deck. Fibbletip is going to be perfect for my legendary decks. Ah, oh, man. Right, we're going to have to make legendary decks now with Fibblethip and all these Planeswalkers. Man, there's a, there's going to be so many choices now. Lazav, help us find lands. Well, really strong start over here. Turn it to Jade Light. Very strong start over there. Unfortunately, while cast downing that Jade Light Ranger would be nice, we just need land, so we gotta get rid of it. Ow. Thing's gone. We're the two turns away from even me. casting a vile offering, unfortunately. But we have to hit this land drop and get Karn in play here. That's a requirement. Okay. We did, we're still in the game. Karn can find us more lands. And the choices we make reveal who we are. We'll just <clears throat> hit this Vivian just a little bit. Can heal. Just let Vivian know that we're over here. Meet my Can't ultimate friend. too fast. We got this one three over here. There is always another fight. Alright, gonna play Teferi first. Right? I could get Jade Light. Hey, what's up, Orasonic? 14 months already? Dang, so many months. Welcome back. Getting the sub battle countdown. Going down. We're already doing a sub battle stream on Saturday. Also. Um, it's definitely greedy to play Teferi first. Yeah, let's let's just play the off let's let's just get this Vivian out of here. We'll just Not take the Jade Light. Yet. So the plan with playing Teferi first would be. would be um, we play Teferi, they Assassin's Trophy in Teferi, and then we Ruinous Blast and get Teferi back. Or sorry, we Vile Offering and get Teferi back. But let's just, let's just get Vivian out of there. It's probably the smart thing. I think I only have the one basic, I think, in this deck. No, okay, we have two basics. All right, good. Wow. Wasn't really expecting that.
Are they trying to have disdainful stroke or something? Uh, I got two of these. Right on schedule. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah, but they figured out the legendary. Yeah, they figured out that the legendary cards turn on mine. They figured out Lazav's secret strength, turning on my legendary sorceries. Time for Plan B. As soon as I think of one. We need to move <clears throat> yeah, we'll figure out this plan B here, Teferi. Don't worry. Figure it out. Yeah, double Shalai would be full hexproof. Everything hexproof. Just only sweepers are the, like, the only things that can kill your, your stuff. Skip to the good part. All right, please don't have another land. Please don't have another land. Ugh. All right, well. No more games. Keep up the pace. Yeah, we we can tuck the Lyra back in our deck. I'm gonna you know, we have these other Teferis. So like we'll be good to go there. I'm expecting like the two. Uh, okay. Just gonna get rid of those. That didn't go according to plan. Ah, uh, another hostage taker. Come on. It's not a bad draw step. If you show remorse, I'll show you. You need to take a time out. I guess I, sh I should have activated as Kanta first, because now I don't really want to activate as Kanta. is hardly my worst defeat. But we're still going to be fine. It's just been a little it's a little bit of annoyance. But we're still fine. The hurry. Cause that's like my, is that the third blast already? Second blast, okay. That's not so bad. Yeah, I should I should have searched with Escanta first before tucking. I'm getting too old for this. Hold that thought. Well, that card's great. So do we want Vivian or... Shalai? 
Probably Vivian. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Balance comes. We're just gonna get a lot of just gonna get a lot of lands with this Vivian probably. Huh. They would rather contempt Lyra Dombringer than these other things. The wilds are my shield. No, the targets do not fizzle. They're they're separate targets. Keep up the pace. So the spell doesn't the spell doesn't fizzle um, if one thing goes away. It's like explosion. Yes, I would like that Urza's Ruinous Blast. Urza's Ruinous Blast, please. So, one, two, three, four. Just don't really need to activate Ascanto. We could. Oh, I thought I did. I did I not have a Lyra in here? Well, I feel silly. Yeah, I know they contempted one, but I thought there was two. I thought we had two of them. It just must have been thinking of last game. I thought we are. I thought I. I thought I scried one over. Also. Let's skip to the good part. You can't stop nature. There we go. And now we'll go get Lyra, put Lyra into play. Oh, I could have, yeah, I could have gone with the double shall I dream. I wanted to, I want to get Lyra because of finality, if they would draw a finality. All right, but let's have, let's have double shall I dream. You should see the look on your face right now. Double shall I dream. Everything hexproof. Everything hexproof. Wait, was that only... I didn't actually kill my opponent? All right, whatever. Yeah, everything's hexproof, everything's indestructible. <laughs> and yes, I know I didn't activate Teferi that last turn. We just don't need to. This, the game's so over.
Yeah, did not need to use the fairy. Uh, this deck's sweet. Getting the double Shalai. So what war card are you most excited for other than Bolas? Burtly Man. Uh, change it to Bird MTG. Awesome. Um, there's so many. Man, there's just... There's so many cards. Like Fibblethip uh, is going to fit really nicely in a lot of my decks. Um, and... Uh, I think I'm pretty excited about the new Niv Mizzet. Also, I want to try building around that card. Um, but there's, man, there's so many good cards. <laughs> All right, so that was Esper Legends. That was a lot of fun. Uh, four one. Uh, I've been playing it for close to two hours. Uh, I want to make sure we can fit in uh, Krasis and then Teamer Monsters also. So. Um, Yeah, so, you know, if it's doing the uh, ranked matches, it's okay to play a little bit less. But, you know, we still had, like, the games are long with our deck. So, um, I, I don't know. I feel like that was a good good spot to end, how that last game ended up. That was pretty epic, having the double Shalai in play. So, we got to have double Lyra in play one game. We had double Shalai in play another game. Um, yeah, this deck's just a lot of fun. You know, it's, it's kind of like... It, like you've seen, it's kind of like Esper Control, where if you like control decks, you'd probably like this deck. But it's it's a little more fun where you get to play these uh, creatures that you don't get to see a lot of play. Like Izareth, Lazav, these don't usually see very much play, but they do their they do their thing. Um, they're not bad. And, and you saw like just that league, how powerful Urza's Ruinous Blast is. Like this is the reason to play this deck. Like, man, this card is powerful. Uh, it is so good. Just Sultai, besides Vivian, everything else is not legendary. And so it's just five mana, exile your entire b battlefield that's not Vivian. And that was crushing for us. Because especially the exile, they don't like find finality, don't have to worry about it. Uh, some people play Midnight Reaper still. Uh, you know, like if they got Midnight Reaper out, nope, your stuff's not dying, just exile everything. Uh, yeah, we beat Mono Red. I mean, Mono Red... Like, if you look at post-board, like, we got a lot. Like, Shalai and Lyra, like, those cards are awesome against Mono Red, of course. And then, like, Duress Negate really messed them up quite a bit. Um, and then we have a, a good amount of early removal with, like, our cast downs and all these Mortifies and, you know, Moment of Cravings. I don't know. It's not, it's not like, the worst thing ever. We did lose to Mono Blue. That was our loss there. Um, but that can happen, of course. And we just... I think I think against Mono Blue I should be cutting a land like we talked about that I I drew, you know like four more lands than my opponent and they had three cards left we had zero cards left you know at the end, and I think I needed to cut a land there. Our Mono Blue opponent did awesome at drawing Tempest Gins. they had a whole lot of Tempest Gins. but all right so that's Esper Legends good. Good showing there in Platinum, going 4-1 and one for us. So starting us off towards... What's after Platinum? Diamond? So we're on our way to Diamond now? Cool. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, um, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for...